Hey everybody, uh, so here is going to be a review of the study guide intervention for, it should be 8-2, I don't know why it says 10-2, it's the older, the older uh, unit numbers. So yeah, uh, the nice thing about these, like I said before, is you have information up top that is very helpful to you. It's all, it's all relevant to what you're going to be doing in the activities below. There's not a lot of room on this sheet, so I'm actually going to use another piece of paper to, to do my work, and I'll just put my answers here. Okay, so uh, yeah, so here we just get right to it. So there's an exam, and there's actually an example right above what we're going to be doing, so... Let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see a little better. Okay, we're looking for the measures of these four angles. Okay, so these are all angles down here. We're going to be looking for the measure of arcs. And for these problems, we're going to be using the circle on the right. Okay, all right, so the first one we're looking for is SCT. Now, what I find easiest, honestly, is to fill these in first and then go back and see which ones they want. I just find that to be a lot easier. So, okay. Uh, this is 45 degrees. We know these two have to be complementary because this is a 90 degree angle. Therefore, these have to add up to 90. So I'm going to use a different color so it stands out. So this would be 45 degrees. Okay. This is the diameter, which means these three angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So we can go ahead and write this on the side, actually. So <clears throat> we're going to call that x. So 45 plus 60 plus x equals 100. Oh equals 180. We're going to go ahead and solve for that. So 45 plus 60 would be 105 plus x equals 180. <clears throat> and then we're going to subtract 105 from both sides. So x would be 75 degrees. So this is 75. And now this one's interesting. We'd have to add these all together and subtract them from 360 because the whole circle is 360. So we're going to do that. So we're going to go, I'll just use my calculator. No, I'm not going to, I mean, we'll, we'll actually do it right out. So 75 plus 45 plus 45 plus 60, what do we get there? We're going to get 15, carry the 1, 8, <clears throat> so is 12, 16, 22. So 225, we're going to subtract that from 360 to find out what that is. So 360 minus 225, borrow from the 6, 5, 3, so 135. This is 135 degrees. Now, knowing all that, we can then go ahead and plug these in. Okay, so SCT is from this one here, so that's going to be 75 degrees. SCU is going to be this one here, so to add those together, so 75 plus 60, so 75 plus 60, and that's going to be, what, 135? Yeah, 135 degrees. Uh, okay, so SCQ which is this angle here, that's 90 degrees. And then QCT, so QCT would be this one. Okay, now you may be asking yourself, how do I know it's going to be this angle here and not that angle there? Because there's two, technically there's two angles, you're going to go with the smaller one of the two. So it's going to be these, it's going to be these three added together. So we're going to go ahead and write that down here. We're going to write 75 plus 45 plus 45. So carry the 1, 8, 12, 16, 165 degrees. And that's how you'd find those four angles. So you can see most of the work was done over here. Then we just went ahead and had to add or subtract a little bit. All right, so now we're going to find the measure of the arcs. Now remember, the arcs actually correspond to the central angle that is associated with it. So we're told in circle O, measure of angle BOA is 44. So BOA is this one. So this is 44 degrees. So that means this is 44 degrees because those are vertical angles. So it's 44. And we know that these, these two angles would be supplementary. So what's 180 minus 44? Let's find out. Uh, 7, 6, 3. It's 136 degrees. All right, so we have all the important interior angles, now we, or central angles, rather. Now we need to uh, find out what corresponds to what. So mark the arc B in the mark. Arc of BA is this one. That corresponds to 44 degrees. Okay. Arc BC would be 136 degrees. It's right here. Okay. CD, that's going to be 44 degrees. ACB, so this is going to be a major arc. So because it's three, three letters, it's kind of the giveaway. So from A to C to B, it's going to be all of these. Now, I could add these all together, or I could just subtract 44 from 360, which I think is going to be easier. So I'm going to say 360 minus 44. 
Yeah, power it from that, we're gonna get six. So 316, yeah, that's right, 316 degrees. Okay, BCD. So now we're going this way. That's gonna be a semicircle, that's 180 degrees. And then the last one, AD, would be 136 degrees. So again, all the work was done initially up front here, and then we went back and checked it there. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you're still confused by this, and I'd uh, be happy to clarify. All right, thanks, guys.